Good morning. God bless you this morning. God keep you this morning. Thank you for tuning on me once again. Praise God. I'm waiting on my thing to pop on once again. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and talk until it pop on. But I'm going to share what you're reading out of uh, John, 1st John. 1st John, chapter... 1st John, chapter 2. I'm going to share what you're reading out of 1st uh, John chapter 2. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start with verse um, 28. It talks about, you know, a few things in 1st John chapter 2. Uh, first, it talks about the uh, a new commandment. Then it talks about do not love this world. Then it talks about one about Antichrist. And it talks about living as children of God but I'm going to go ahead and start from 28 and I'm going to go read uh, 12 of chapter 3 and read chapter 3 down to um, down to um, 9 no down to 10 okay uh, living as children of God living as children of God it says and now dear children remain in fellowship with Christ so that when he returns, you will be full of courage and not shrink back from him in shame. Since we know that Christ is righteous, we also know that all who do what is right are God's children. And it kind of made me think of, uh, as I read this, you know, living, you know, living as children of God, you know, not living, you know, as children of the devil, not doing the devil stuff, not doing... You know the thing that, you know, lines up with all the devil's evils and wicked ways and wrong and, and not righteous. Um, have you ever just been around somebody that you know you moved on and trying to lead the past in the past? And, you know, no matter what it is, you know, through relationship or no matter whatever you used to do, party, club, and drink, whatever, smoke. Or whatever little stuff like that, and somebody always want to tell you that ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, you can you can try a little bit. You know, it ain't gonna hurt. Do it for your birthday. You know, do it for this. Do it for the special day. Do it for this. You know, with the Fourth of July or your anniversary, just do it. You know, it ain't gonna hurt you. Just one time, God understand. You know, little stuff like that. You know, such as uh, maybe maybe you used to watch something on TV. It used to be your favorite show. It used to be favorite this, favorite that. No matter what it is, uh, whether it's uh. Uh, sports, uh, you know, soap operas or some kind of movies or comedy, you know, and you be all like, I used to watch something like I don't watch that stuff no more. You know, it don't, it don't, it don't excite me. It don't turn me on. It's not helping my spirit. That's old stuff. You know, why watch something dumb, and stupid? You can see this going on every day. You know, in the real world, what you know with that. Of the devil, and then the devil wants you to watch these stupid things. Then you, you um, eventually wind up doing it. Eventually, or like to do it, or wind up, you know, just doing some crazy outrageous. You know, when you say, "Oh, uh, be around somebody," what well, I used to do, I don't, I don't watch that. Well, you know, you can do it. You can do that, but it's time to go back to it. Why go back? Well, what? So, want somebody else trying to get you to go back and do something that what they want you to do because that's what they are. They're not ready to change. They don't want to move on. They don't want to. Look at something that makes sense instead of that same old nonsense, whether it's violent in it or something like that. You know, this don't make sense. You know, when they be like, Well, I've been doing it for years, I've been doing seeing this for years, I've been like acting on this for years, or something like that. Okay, well, won't you change? You've been doing it so long, okay, it's time to change. You know, won't you change some of the things that you used to do for a long time? Change, get out your comfort zone and change. You know, do something different, do something that makes sense. You know, listen to the Word of God sometimes. You know, cut off the TV, you know, and, and read the Bible. Let, you know, God in your mind, your soul, and your heart. You know, you're going through something. You can maybe be going through some kind of pain, some kind of uh, tragedy, some kind of situation. You know, all this foolish stuff that you're watching on TV, that ain't help. that's not going to help. You need God to help you with whatever situation is. You can turn off the ignorant box, the radio, whatever it is, you know, sometime when you're trying to get God to do something for you. You can't have all that in the mix of what God wants you to do. It well, you can't hear from God with all that nonsense. Well, God wants you to meditate on Him in the Word and pray and stay focused, you know, and seek Him, knowing He will bring you out. Seek Him. Stop putting all the other foolish stuff before Him. Amen. Somebody, somebody might not want to hear, but 
you know, it is what it is. You know, you want things to happen, you want things to go right, you know, and you know, sometimes you have to stop watching ignorant stuff. Uh, some stuff don't even make sense. Stuff don't even line up the world of God sometimes. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish reading. I'm going to read chapter 3. It says, See how very much our Father loved us, for He called us His children. And that is what we are. But the people who belong to the world don't recognize that we are God's children because they don't know Him. Dear friends, we are already God's children, but He has not yet shown us what we will be like when Christ appeared. But we do know that we will be like Him, for we will see him as he really is and all who have this ego expectation will keep themselves pure you know pure just as he is pure just uh that's also in the book of book of john chapter 1 and verse 12 next verse says everyone who sin is breaking god's law for all sin is con contrary to the law of god and you know that jesus came to take away our sin and there is no sin in him Anyone who continues to live in him will not sin. But anyone who keeps on shining, uh, uh, no, anyone keep on sinning, anyone keep on sinning does not know him or understand who he is. Dear children, don't let anyone deceive you about this. When people do what is right, it is shown that they are righteous, even as Christ is righteous. But when people know, I mean, but when people teach, but when people keeps on sinning, it shows that they belong to the devil, who has been sinning since the beginning. But the Son of God came to destroy the work of the devil. Those who have been born into God's family do not make practice of sinning because God's life is in them. So they can't keep on sinning because they are children of God. So now we can tell who are sinning of God. And who are children of the devil. Anyone who does not live righteously and do not love other believers does not belong to God. And that's also in the book of First John chapter 4 and verse 8. Praise God. And some people, uh, some people be all like, some people be saying, you know, some folks say, you know, we all God's children. But not if you not if you keep continuing to sin and you keep on doing what's wrong. You don't want to hear the right. You don't want to seek the righteous. You know, good and bad little bit. One minute you're good, next day you're doing bad. You know, good and bad little bit. You can't put one in the one one foot uh, to the left and one foot to the right. You know, in uh, in the one foot in on the inside and one foot on the outside. Us, this is the world outside. Of it. This is the world inside of God. Christ Jesus trying to give you the inside of Him, the light, and show you what He's all about, what He has for you. But some people want to just do this wrong. Sometimes they do wrong. Sometimes they do bad. Well, that just like, you know, this and that. You know, you have, to, you, have to, you have a mind to make up. You know, if you want to stay on the good, stay on the right path, or you want to stay on that bad uh, core, that bad path. You know, no good. Sometimes you got, you know, things get out of control, get, things get out of hand. You know, you say these things, you cuss or whatever, and do these things, and not allow the world of God. But all the same time, God do knows your heart. You know, it's not right to do them things, but you know, you have to stay up. You know, stay strong, and you know, sometimes you have to separate yourself from people that, because sometimes people like to see you cut. Sometimes people like to see you go off. They feel it's fun. They think it's cool, you know. Sometimes, just, I, don't, I don't know what it is with them, but uh, with her sometimes, it is like people just want to just see you go off sometimes. Just to see how you is, or see how you was, or something like that. And then when they see these things, then they don't like it. They don't this, they don't that, and nah, then you like that. They ain't thinking, well, you, well, you made them do it. You, you know, you made, you, you're forcing them to do it. You know, you, you, you're saying that, saying that, you're trying to make the evil come out of them. And that's not good. That's why I was like, you know, the best person you can get along with is by yourself. If you can't get along with others, you need to be by yourself. If you still be disrespecting others and not showing other respect, you need to be by yourself. Simple as that. Get along with yourself. Just be by yourself. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to uh, uh, deal with nobody. You don't want to bother around. Because people make you mad. People make you this. People make you that. You know you're going off. They say this. They say that. And you do these things. You know. Be by yourself. You know, it's hard to be alone with somebody. Be by yourself. And sometimes when it comes time, you you get tired of being by yourself. But at the same time, you know, then you try to meet somebody. And they got their own ego other way. You don't know nothing about them. Then you find out later on, 
Then they acting the way you probably used to act and then all that acting and all that stuff. Uh, hit on, bounce back on you. And what a guy has, you know, you said God delivered you from and sometimes that stuff bounce back on you. And then you know, just people make you mad. I understand all that. <laughs> Trust me, I understand all of that. You know, but I'm like, if you can't get along with yourself, who you gonna get along with? It's like, wow, you could be mad at your own self, hate your own self. Who you gonna get along with by you hating your own self and not loving yourself? You know, I, I, I mean, like, I was, I, I'm not a people pleaser neither. I don't like dealing with folk, you know, because different, pe different people got their own different way, the different, you know, this, the different that. They don't want, they got their own ego tripped or whatever you want to call it. You know, they think and say, they want to say, they got their own opinion, that's fine. Everybody got their own opinion, right? They have their own opinion, but you know, those things you want to deal with, be in that situation, you know. So I'm like, I need somebody that's on God's, that's, that's, that's on, that's on God's level, God's law, God's way, not just my way. It got to be God's way, too. You know, if it ain't lining up the Word of God, you know, something is just not going to work. You're going to have your own way. You're going to think about your own path, your own selfish way, what you used to do, and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Think about stuff that don't even matter. No more. You need to focus on the day, what God has for you now, and, you know, and be happy, enjoy life. You know, and if you're in a relationship or you're with somebody, stick to that one. If you know that person is good, stick to that person. Stick, stick to that one that you, you know, say you love. Stick with the one you say you you know, never leave and all the kind of stuff, or whatever you say. You know, if you love somebody, you be with them. Marry that person. You know, stick with them. You know, glory be to God, somebody. Hey, Amen. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to pray for each and every last one before my time run out. Thank you, Father. Pray for those watching. God bless you. God keep it here, Lord. Lead you and God. You protect you going in and going out. And I pray that the weapon form against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. You can't do all things through Christ which strength you if you believe. And I pray for the one that's sick and may not be feeling good. God bless you and God keep it. Pray by strike. You are healed and you are well in Jesus' name. God bless you today. And I pray, Lord, God's angel around you protect you going in and going out. Protect your, protect your surrounding. Bless you. Keep you. And uh, I pray you just don't give up. Do the will of God for your life. Do what's right all the time. Stay in the light. You don't want to go backwards. You don't, don't want to be caught up in that backwards mess where you used to be. And I just pray in the mighty name of uh, Jesus that God will move you to a higher heights and a better place and a better way of living. And a happy and a joy and a happiness living, and you know, within him. And I always be in the light because he lives in the light. And God wants you in the light. He don't want you in the dark. He wants you to know these things. He wants you to know what's in the light and not in the dark. He don't want you being no secret. He don't want you. He don't want no secrets being hidden from you. And God can show you all the light. He can show you all whatever you been waiting for and asking for. If you just trust and call on Him in Jesus' name, let Him into your heart, and your mind, your soul, and your spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God bless you. God keep you. Remember, God love you, and so do I. Take care and have a wonderful, blessed. Weekend. Don't let the devil in hell steal your joy this weekend or no weekend. In Jesus' name. See you later next time. If God say the same.